Hi. Now for this part of the question then, we're told that we have a point Q then on the parabola, and I would strongly suggest you sketch this by the way, that you've got this point Q on the parabola, coordinates 3Q squared 6Q, and we're told that the tangents at P and Q cross at this point R, and we've got to get the coordinates of R. It turns out then, if you've done this, that R has coordinates 3PQ for X and the Y coordinate is 3P plus 3Q. Or you might want to factorise that as 3 bracket P plus Q. Now, if there were problems, I'll just take you through the method. To get a tangent then, let's say at P, what we need to do is find out what the gradient is at that point there by differentiating y squared equals 12x. And then when we've done that, we can substitute the relevant x or y values in to get the actual gradient at that point p. And then just use that point in the equation for a line, okay? And then we'll do exactly the same for q and then we'll solve simultaneously those two equations to get the coordinates of r. So we get the gradient first of all at any point on this curve by differentiating it. And I think the best way of differentiating this is to do implicit differentiation. So you should differentiate with respect to x and you'll get 2y then dy dx equals 12. And from this, it follows if you divide both sides by 2y, dy dx equals 6 over y. So we only need to work with the y coordinate then to get the gradient at p. And it's going to be exactly the same for q because there's a kind of symmetry about it, okay, with our values. So by substituting 6p in for y and 6q in for q, we can get those gradients at p and q. And it turns out the gradient at P then is 1 over P, and at Q it's 1 over Q. So now we're in a position to get the equation, say, of the tangent at P. So if we use the form Y minus Y1 equals M bracket X minus X1, then the equation of the tangent at P turns out to be this one here. 1 minus 6P equaling 1 over P, x minus 3p squared. I'm going to times through by p and rearrange it to make x the subject. If you do that, you end up with x equaling py minus 3p squared. Now that means the equation of the tangent at q must take on a similar form, only where there's a p, there's going to now be a q. So we're in a position then to say that the tangent at q has an equation x equals qy minus 3q squared. Now we can just use simultaneous equations to find out r. So if I number those two equations, say 1 and 2, then I would think we could eliminate the x's here by doing equation 1 minus equation 2. So if you do 1 minus 2, you'll end up with this result here, which we can rearrange to make y the subject. So if you rearrange that, you end up with y equaling three lots of p plus q. You'll notice that p squared minus q squared, difference of two squares, means that the p minus q cancels, okay? Now that we've got y, we can easily substitute that back into one, say, and get what x is. So if you substitute that back into one, you get that x turns out to be 3pq. And so therefore, we've got that r equals 3pq and 3p plus 3q. Okay, so I hope you're able to follow that one.